Here's how you make my roasted turmeric chicken pitas with garlic lemon tahini. First thing you do is make the chicken. It's really easy, you just need a ton of spices, lots of turmeric, a little garlic, a little lemon, salt, pepper. Toss that all together and roast it in the oven. While that's all roasting, start assembling the pitas. You wanna make a little garlicky lemon tahini, which is basically just tahini, a little Dijon, a little garlic, lots of lemon, and then find yourself some nice pitas. Stuff them up really full with lots of lettuce, all your favorite toppings, the chicken, the garlic lemon tahini, and a little spicy harissa too. I make my gooey s'more skillet brownie. Okay, so start with a basic brownie batter. I use lots and lots of chocolate, some butter, eggs, flour, sugar, of course. I keep it really simple. Now, find yourself an oven safe skillet and arrange some graham crackers and chocolate in the skillet. Add the batter, then add lots of marshmallow fluff, then add more batter, more chocolate, and bake it until it is just set on top. You wanna cook this until it is barely set and you wanna eat it while it's really, really gooey and warm. I add a scoop of ice cream on top. Trust me, it's delicious. You're gonna love this. Homemade cheesy pizza rolls, a million times better than the frozen stuff. All you need to do is just mix some cheese together with some marinara sauce and herbs. Wrap the cheesy filling up in a wonton wrapper. Then take the wonton wrapper and dip it through some breading. Line it all up on a baking sheet. Drizzle with a little olive oil, throw them in the oven to bake until they're crispy and cheesy on the inside. Pull them apart and enjoy with your favorite marinara sauce. Here's how you make my cheesy gordita crunch tacos. First thing you wanna do is make the spicy ranch. All you need is a little bit of Greek yogurt and some dried herbs. Once that's made, start making the taco meat. I do a homemade chipotle taco seasoning. Once that's made, assemble the tacos. You need some flour tortillas, lots of cheese, and a bit of a homemade Dorito seasoning. Layer that at all, and then bake in the oven until they're nice and cheesy. Assemble the tacos, top of that spicy ranch, and enjoy every last crunchy, cheesy bite. Let's make my homemade vegan Snickers bars. The first step is to make the nougat layer. All you have to do is mix everything together, spread that out in a pan, and then sprinkle on lots of roasted salted peanuts. Freeze that layer. While that layer is freezing, make the coconut caramel sauce. Pour that over the peanut layer and then freeze. Melt a little chocolate, dip each bar in the chocolate. I like to sprinkle on lots of flaky sea salt for a salty sweet bar, and then break them apart and enjoy that gooey caramel peanuty goodness. This caramelized honey salmon noodle bowl is so delicious. So I roast a whole bunch of vegetables in the oven. I make the sauce with a little soy sauce, honey, garlic, ginger. I add the salmon to that sauce and just let it for it sit for a minute and then throw it in the oven with the vegetables. I do a really delicious creamy tahini sauce for the noodles. You just wanna cook the noodles and then toss them with that sauce. And from here, you just serve everything up. You grab those vegetables and salmon from the oven. I do noodles, vegetables, and then the salmon on top. It's so delicious with some green onions. Here's how I make my no-fuss lemon tart. First thing you wanna do is make the pretzel crust. You just need some pretzel crumbs, a little bit of butter, and you push that all into a string form pan. Bake that, and then while that's baking, make the lemon filling. It's super unique in that it doesn't use any eggs. You just boil the cream on the stove, then pour it into the tart crust and let it set for a few hours. Top the tart with fresh berries, some chamomile flowers if you can find them, and then slice it up and enjoy every creamy bite. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love this tart. Today I'm sharing with you this very special one bowl chocolate cake. That's the first recipe in my newsletter, link in bio by the way. I will dare to say this is a foolproof recipe. You don't need to know anything about making cakes in order to get this one right. Everything comes together in one bowl. You whisk everything together. The recipe uses pantry staples that I hope you already have in your kitchen. It's rich, moist, and all the things you want in a chocolate cake. Soft and fluffy raspberry lemon brioche rolls. First thing you wanna do is mix up the brioche dough. It's really simple to do. Then you wanna roll it out, spread on some butter, combine a little bit of lemon zest, sugar, sprinkle it over some raspberries, add the raspberries to the dough, and roll it up just like you would a cinnamon roll. Cut the dough into rolls, layer them in a pan, let them rise, bake, make a little whipped ricotta cream, and spread that over top of the warm rolls. Pull them apart, eat, and enjoy.